Hey guys, what's up? My name is Thomas Spark and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about a new bug with Firefox that lets users within the same Wi-Fi network hijack your mobile browser. Yikes. So guys, Firefox has kind of had a tough year. It fired a lot of employees, ended important features of Firefox, like Firefox Send, which allowed you to kind of send encrypted stuff over the internet, which was a secure way to do it. A lot of those services are ending, and Firefox itself has had really bad bugs this year already, like when it would leak search queries to ISPs with specific words. That was not good. So guys, this is a bug we're talking about, and it's honestly a pretty bad bug. I already read this article, and the summation of it pretty much is this. There's some kind of vulnerability, or there was at least, uh, it's fixed now. Firefox has now pushed an update out to the new Firefox browser on Android. It does not affect PC, it's only for mobile. They've now fixed it. You just need to download the update and update your Firefox on the App Store. So long as you do that, you should be pretty good to go. Or if you just want to use Brave and avoid some of these things that have been happening this year with Firefox, that's also an option and you can support the channel by doing so. But if you're sticking with Firefox and want to know more about this bug, this is pretty much what's going on. So apparently there was some kind of vulnerability in the Firefox SSD component. Basically what this does is it lets Firefox interface with stuff like Roku devices. Um, now when devices are found, the Firefox SSDP component gets the location of an XML file where the device's configuration is stored. So this bug specifically was discovered by Chris Moberly, an Australian security researcher working at GitLab. So basically what Moberly discovered with this vulnerability is that in older versions of Firefox, you could hide the Android intent commands in the XML files and have the Firefox browser itself execute the intent, which would be a regular command like telling Firefox to access a link. So theoretically what could happen is that some hacker could come into a public Wi-Fi cafe find someone using an outdated version of Firefox or at the time of this bug, an up-to-date version, but now out of date as someone doesn't update their Firefox, this bug could still be present. So theoretically, this person could go in a public Wi-Fi cafe or an airport, and therefore all they would have to do is launch a script on their laptop that would then spam the network with malformed SSDDP packets. From here, the browser could be controlled, download malicious code or go to a malicious site um, or even to just install something like a malicious Firefox extension. Another scenario is that an attacker could target vulnerable Wi-Fi routers. Attackers could leverage exploits to take over outdated routers and then spam a company's internal network and force employees to re-authenticate on phishing pages. Earlier this week, Morley published proof of concept code that could be used to carry out such attacks, and here are two videos of them happening. So it was something actually going on, which is not very good. This news did get pretty big. According to Firefox, the update is now pushed and the bug is no longer an issue. But the fact that it was there at all is very concerning, perhaps leading credence to the idea that now that Firefox has gotten rid of a lot of team members, that bugs like this might happen more often in the future. Yikes. Anyways guys, just a quick little update here on Firefox and a really bad bug you should be known about. Make sure to update or use Brave and I'll see you again on the next video very soon.